in Goa, 55 seats across 9 districts in Uttar Pradesh and 70 seats in Uttarakhand is underway. Till 1 p.m., the turnout of, of voters in Goa was 44.63%, 39.07% in UP and 35.21% in Uttarakhand. After five days, theaters, schools in Karnataka reopened. Schools and colleges were shut in the state following a row over some Muslim girls going to educational institutions wearing hijab. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on February 14 said that Prime Minister Narendra Modi has changed the agenda of politics in India. Indian Space and Research Organization successfully launched the Earth Observation Satellite on board the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. The launch carried two other rideshare satellites into orbit. And now news in details. Three people were killed in a road accident when a sumo travelling from Dimapur to Mukukchong hit a scooter coming from the opposite direction. Following the accident, the red mob vandalised the sumo and throng to the highway to protest. Meanwhile, after the accident, the three dead bodies have been taken to Johat Medical College and Hospital. <laughs> He manata sasburi karu kurkali loy khori gata thobolo koi sile. He moto ta noga kari ekhon ahi ta khunda mani mane export date hoy koi. Tini jane dukai sile. Ita kotha do hol je noga kari aji bolye no hoy. Noga kari upodro tu mane daily. E din or kotha no hoy. Khoda e din ta ta tor mane mo matale hisabat gari solai tu rastad. To ami etia pokha kono eta dabi jonam je noga kari tu rastadi oha jo bondho bolagi. Amar tu rastad bondho bolagi. Polling on all 40 seats in Goa, 55 seats across 9 districts in Uttar Pradesh and single phase polling in Uttarakhand's 70 seat is underway. Till 1 p.m., the voters turned out in Goa was 44.63%, 39.07% in UP and 35.21% in Uttarakhand. In Goa and Uttarakhand, Chief Ministers Pramod Sawant and Pushka Singh Thami will contest the polls. In Uttar Pradesh, Jail Samashwadi Party leader Azam Khan and his son Abdullah Azam are among the prominent candidates in the fray. <laughs> तो ये हमारा जो दुनिया का सबसे बड़ा लोकतंत्र कहा जाता है भारत उसकी यही खूबसूरती है कि पूरे जुनून और जज्बे के साथ समाज के सभी लोग अपने मताधिकार का इस्तेमाल करें तो खरे अर्थान बरेया लोकशाही तो आधार स्तंभ असा मजे या निमित्तान आवाहन सगळ्यांसा की सगळ्यांनी 100% मतदान करपाचो प्रयत्न करतो आणि करून घेऊचे आमच्या गोयांतली तशी आमची यासा ख्याती असा की चढ मतदान करपाची सडन सेट लोकांनी मतदान करपाक बाहेर सरचे असे मका दिसता त्या प्रमाण लोक करूनही घेतले आमचे कोईतार मतदार सुबुद्ध असत भारतीय जनता पार्टी लेजिस्लेटर्स फ्रॉम नागालैंड आर कैंपेनिंग फॉर द पार्टी इन अपोल बाउंड मणिपुर मणिपुर विल गो द फर्स्ट फेज ऑफ स्टेट असेंबली पोल्स ऑन फेब्रुवारी 28 एंड द सेकंड फेज ऑन मार्च 5 ऑल टुगेदर 173 कैंडिडेट्स इंक्लूडिंग 15 वुमेन इज गोइंग टू फाइट फ्रॉम 38 सीट्स इन द फर्स्ट फेज Prominent BJP candidates fighting for the first phase include Chief Minister Nbirin Singh, Assembly Speaker Y. Kem Chant Singh, Ministers T. H. Biswajit Singh, S. Rajan Singh, O. Lukhoi Singh and Vung Zagin Valte. To extend support to the party candidates, Nagaland Deputy Chief Minister Y. Patron, BJP National Spokesperson Molo Makikon, PHED Minister Jacob Jimomi and Advisor for Department of Power Tovi Hoto Aimi are in Urkrul and having meeting with party officials. Let's have a look at live coverage.
Public Interaction Program of BJP Ukru District, Manipur on 14th February 2022. Venue Town Hall, Pongitang Ukru. East or West? Or North or South? Nagas are like this. Kori Mungsu Pishi Khali Le Tui Bajji Deng Hupsa Tui Program Start Group La Zee Kori Mungsu Khali Time Di Ni Chaja In spite of the time In spite of the time Delay God is so good He has brought All of us together here To talk To interact To understand each other Without wasting time and without much further ado we will immediately go ahead with the program BJP slogan is all the same even in the states of Navalin and also in the states of Manipur nation first party second self is always the last for us so as we come together Nagaland and Manipur, especially the state of Manipur and Ukru district as we host this interaction program. I'd like to all of us to Due to some technical issues, we are unable to continue with our live coverage, but let's move forward to our next news. After five days, Hedes schools in Karnataka reopened. Schools and colleges were shut in the state following a row over some Muslim girls going to educational institutions wearing hijab. However, in Udupi, junior colleges and degree colleges will remain closed till February 16. 
The Karnataka High Court will resume hearing on pleas challenging the government's order to ban hijab in schools and colleges in the state. The HC in its order last week passed an interim order asking students not to wear new religious dress to class in educational institutions that have prescribed uniforms. Meanwhile, the police in Bengaluru, Mangaluru and Udupi have imposed prohibitory orders. Our DC uh, also in yesterday, so take the uh, all uh, education officers meeting, block level and district level officers meeting, including all SP and CEOs uh, are there. The examination is uh, running only 10th uh, district level preparatory exam. So there is no issues uh, in the school premises. There is no issues in the classrooms. In the outsides, uh, they are uh, where the uh, uh, that uh, job and uh, remove uh, in the classrooms. The job pro started in December and when a few students started coming to a government pre-university college in Udupi wearing hijab. To protest against it, some Hindu students turned up wearing saffron scarves. The road spread to other educational institutions in different parts of the state and the protest took a violent turn at some places last week, prompting the government to declare holidays for the institutions and claim prohibitory orders to maintain the law and order situations. Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Sunday paid tribute to the CRPF Jawans who were killed in a terror attack in Pulwama district of South Kashmir in February 2019. No Indian can forget this day. Two years ago, the Pulwama attack happened. We pay homage to all the martyrs. We are proud of our security forces and their bravery will continue to inspire generations, he said at a function. He said the country's armed forces have shown time and again that they are fully capable of protecting our motherland. Forty CRPF personnel were killed in the terrorist attack carried out by Pakistan-based terror group jaish e Muhammad in Pulwama on February 14, 2019. At least a thousand sedition cases will be lodged by Bharatiya Janata Party in Assam on Monday against Congress MP Rahul Gandhi for his tweet saying India exists from Gujarat to West Bengal, thereby conceding to Chinese demand of Arunachal Pradesh, top sources revealed to NA. The Wayanand MP in a tweet on February 10th had said that there is strength in our union, there is strength in our union, our union of cultures, our union of diversity, our union of languages, our union of people, our union of states, Rahul Gandhi had said. In the same tweet, he had further mentioned that this union from Gujarat to West Bengal. Following the tweet, Chief Minister of Assam, Tripura and Manipur pointed out that the Congress leader missed mentioning the Northeast. From Kashmir to Kerala, from Gujarat to West Bengal, India is beautiful in all its colors. Don't insult the spirit of India, Rahul Gandhi had said. The sources say that Rahul Gandhi deliberately ignored the Northeast and thereby conceded to the demand of the Chinese Farnachal Pradesh. The Indian Space and Research Organization successfully launched the Earth Observation Satellite on board the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle in the wee hours of Monday. The launch carried two other rideshare satellites into orbit as the Indian Space Agency set in motion work for 2022. The launch was conducted from SAR in Sriharikota to deploy EOS-04 in the Sun synchronous orbit nearly 529 kilometers above the planet. The four-stage rocket lifted off with a student satellite in Spires at an spacecraft dubbed INSAT 2DT that is a pre precursor of a joint India-Bhutan mission in the future. Amid years in mission control, the launch director announced that all three satellites were successfully deployed. Following the launch, ISRO chief, as Somnath said, the mission of PSLV C-52 has been successfully accomplished. The marvel is lift off and the PSLV first stage performance is according to the expectations for the mission. Most strap ons were ground lit and two more strap ons are air lit. Cumulative thrust when all modes fire is close to 9100 kN. 
The Earth Observation Satellite 04 is also called radar imaging satellite that has been designed to provide high quality images under all weather conditions for applications such as agriculture, forestry and plantations, flood mopping, soil moisture and hydrology. The spacecraft will collect observation data in C-band completing the observations done by resource set. Carto set and reset 2B series. The satellite has an operating life of a decade. The government of India banned 54 more Chinese apps that pose a threat to India's security, informed sources on Monday. The 54 Chinese apps include Beauty Camera, Sweet Selfie HD, Beauty Camera Selfie Camera, Equalizer and Best Booster, Cam Card for Sales, Force Entertainment. Isoland 2, Ashes of Time, Light, Viva Video Editor, Tencent River, On My OG, Chess, On My G Arena, AppLog, Dual Space Light. Earlier in June last year, India banned 59 Chinese mobile applications, including the widely used social media platforms such as TikTok, WeChat, and Hello, keeping in view the threat to the nation's sovereignty and security. The majority of the apps banned in the June 2019. 29 order were red flagged by intelligence agencies over concern that were collecting user data and possibly also sending them outside. This action came after 20 Indian soldiers and an unspecific number of the Chinese soldiers were killed during violent clashes in Gulwan Valley in eastern Ladakh amid border tensions with China. Later in September, the government of India further blocked 118 Chinese mobile apps stating that they are prejudicial to sovereignty and integrity of India. Defense of India's security of the state and public order. However, China opposed India's decision to continue the ban on Chinese mobile apps and said the action is in violation of the World Trade Organization's non discriminatory principles. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath on Monday expressed confidence in the Bharatiya Janata Party winning the state assembly post by securing over 300 seats and said that the elections are a fight between 80 versus 20, wherein 80% are those who beg progress while 20% people oppose everything and have a negative attitude. In an exclusive interview with ANI, Adityanath said that after the first phase of the Uttar Pradesh assembly elections, there is no doubt about the PJP forming the government. भारतीय जनता पार्टी प्रधानमंत्री मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में जनता जनार्दन के आशीर्वाद से डबल इंजन की सरकार फिर से आएगी अस्सी बनाम बीस की तरफ चुनाव जा चुका है सपा बसपा कांग्रेस हताशा निराशा पहले चरण में उनके मन में छा चुका है उनके लिए जनता जनार्दन के सामने अब कोई स्पेस जनता जनार्दन के लिए कोई जगह नहीं है भारतीय जनता पार्टी ने जो एक लक्ष्य दिया है कि फिर एक बार 300 पार तो हम 300 पार के लक्ष्य को प्राप्त कर रहे हैं दिस इज ऑल फॉर नाउ की पॉचिंग टीवी